Find out on a scale of 1 to 10 how attractive you would rank in China as a man. Everyday Easy Chinese 大家好,我是 Everyday Easy Chinese Lin老师 and today we'll be looking at a very popular ranking table from 1 to 10 of male beauty standards in China. This is obviously a humorous piece done by the artist Hua Shou Ge Zhe, so don't be offended. And it's based on the stereotypes of what an ideal man in China would look like. So after you've seen the rankings, let us know how you would rank in the comments below or let us know what you think of the ranking. Before we start, Remember to give us a like as this would really help our team and also do subscribe to our YouTube channel for free weekly Chinese lessons. Let's start! Here's how a 1 out of 10 would look like according to the standards in China. So a 1 out of 10 would have 五官大小失衡 五官 means facial features 大小 means size and shi heng means imbalance. So basically the face is lopsided and it's not symmetrical. The next characteristic is pi fu chu cao, which means rough skin. Thirdly, we have shang bei zi de zui le quan yu zhou, which means must have troubled the whole universe in his previous life. So this one might actually sound weird to you, but Chinese culture and society is influenced by Buddhism. So we also believe in reincarnation and karma as well. So lots of people do talk about a previous life and they believe that if you've done something bad in your previous life, then karma will pay you back in this life. So we also have 油腻结块的头发 which means greasy hair. One thing they emphasize here is that the hair is 结块, which means that it is clumped together. <laughs> this is so harsh, but this one says 父母一方可能不是人类, which means that one of the parents must not be human, meaning that a 1 out of 10 looks kind of like an alien. And another characteristic is Qi zhi wei suo, which means creepy aura, more in a perverted sense. And finally, the last characteristic of a 1 out of 10 is shen cai duan pang. Body, shen cai is short and fat, duan pang. This does seem like a harsh depiction of a 1 out of 10 guy in China. So moving up by one point, how would a 2 out of 10 guy look like in China? So the first characteristic is 五官有严重问题 which means has serious problems with the facial feature. The next one is 不会像一分男一样被认为是非人类 So not like the first guy who doesn't look like a human. 非人类 means non-human by the way. So it's only from the 2 out of 10 point where you are considered to look like a human. The next characteristic is 人靠衣装在他身上失效 People expect that no outfits will suit his body. And this one as well 也可能是一名沙马特 沙马特 is the English word smart but it means the complete opposite, usually referring to a naive person having that grunge or gothic type look. And that's not very desired in Chinese society when trying to be an attractive male. Okay, moving on higher to a 3 out of 10 guy now. So the first characteristic is 虽不像人,但没人想多看一眼 Although he doesn't scare someone, no one will give him a second look. So how harsh? At a 1 out of 10, you're considered to be like an alien. 2 out of 10, you're considered to be scary. And only at 3 out of 10 are you considered to be not scary. 
。So moving on, 物质条件越差，恋爱经历越逼近零。So the worse the material possessions he had, the more chance of his dating experience being close to zero. 无大问题，小问题不断的。无大问题 means no big problems, but 小问题不断的 means endless small problems. Okay, so nearly moving on to what is considered an average guy in China. A four out of ten now. Okay, so the first characteristic is 无硬伤，也无亮点的。So no hard flaws, but also no bright spot. Okay, what else do we have? 大肿脸 ，a common face, and 路人甲 ，a passerby. So basically, very average looking. Now the next one we have is an easily forgotten appearance. Even after you have looked, so the last characteristic is 一提起接盘侠、老实人，最可能是他们。So let's look at these two phrases: 接盘侠 and 老实人 So for 接盘侠，接 means to accept, 盘 means stocks, and 侠 means hero. So it's essentially someone who is Acting like a hero, buying stocks at a high price, and obviously that's not a good thing. Metaphorically, it's used to label people that get into really bad relationships and have to pay a high price for it. So, for example, if you enter a tiring relationship with lots of emotional baggage, that might be one situation. 老实人 means an honest guy. In other words, it's an average Joe. So, if you are an average Joe at just four out of ten, I wonder what a five out of ten in China looks like. What does the average look like? Well, the first is that 五官周正 balanced facial features. Okay, 无硬伤 no major flaws. Hmm. Next one. 也不至于太帅被人记去 Not too handsome, so as that other people will chase after him. The next characteristic, 一眼看去说不上喜欢，但不会被讨厌 At one glance, you wouldn't say that you like him, but you also wouldn't hate him. So to summarize at this level, because you're not ugly or handsome. You just lack the presence and can be easily forgotten. How tough! Even being a five out of ten is considered not enough. If you get to this part of the video, let us know in the comments now what you think of the standards that we just looked at. Okay, let's go into a six out of ten now. So the first thing it says is 可能在身高五官。或气质上有缺陷而不能成为七分 ，so he might be missing something or have a defect in terms of height, 身高，五官 which means facial features or the 气质 which means aura, and that might be the reason he cannot become a seven out of ten. So what does the seven out of ten have then? So here is a seven out of ten. 在大学一定是校草，是女生们暗恋、明恋的对象。校草 means the handsome, popular boy in school, and 是女生们暗恋、明恋的对象 means it's a target of crushes and outward love from girls. He also has 新潮发型。Which means has a trendy hairstyle, and also, 双眼皮 double eyelid, 高鼻子 means high nose. 可能爱化妆 so he might also put makeup on, and he has, 五官精致 delicate facial features, and even this point, 耳环也不违和 Which means that wearing earrings 
Don't look weird on him. 小脸 small face. So actually, one compliment that you may hear a lot in China and not in your country is that you have a small face, which is actually a good thing because people don't like having big faces in China. 身高一百八十，身形健美。Height is over a hundred eighty centimeters, and body is fit. So apparently, the typical seven out of ten guy will normally work in the entertainment industry or be a photographer. So at a seven out of ten, it seems that the attractive requirements have dramatically increased. Is there anyone at this point yet? Comment down below if you are. Now let's look at what an eight out of ten looks like. So the first characteristic is 自信 which means self-confident. The next one we have here is 只要出现必引起骚动和偷拍 Once he appears, will definitely cause a commotion, and also people will secretly take photos of him. Okay, another one is 靠脸吃饭不成问题 Relying on his face to put food on the table is no problem. So probably he might be a model. Next one. 气宇轩昂 which means impressive appearance. Okay, and another one here is, 少女们把八分男的照片设成背景，省吃俭用也要支持他。So, 少女们把八分男的照片 girls would put his picture as 设成背景。As their wallpaper on their phone or laptop, and 省吃俭用 even if frugal, 也要支持他 they will still support him money wise. Okay, so 八分男既不仅拥有颜值和身材，还拥有比七分男更高的辨识度，可能是某个。家喻户晓的男明星，八分男，几不仅拥有。Not only does the eight of the ten guy have 颜值 appearance 和身材 and a good body， 还拥有比七分男更高的辨识度 ，but also has a higher level of recognition than a seven out of ten guy. 可能是某个家喻户晓的男明星 is probably a well-known celebrity. Okay, so let's move on to a nine out of ten guy. So, 九分男可能上辈子救了全宇宙，才换来这外貌。A nine out of ten guy must have saved the whole universe in his previous life to exchange for such a handsome face. As mentioned before, Chinese people believe in karma. So if you save the whole universe in your previous life, you must be getting a good deal in your present life. 他可能是荧幕偶像，可能是国民情人。He might be a movie idol or the nation's sweetheart. Okay, the final characteristic is 无法用语言形容他的帅，因为可能。只是幻想。<laughs> so impossible to use words to describe how handsome he is. 因为可能只是幻想 means because he might just be a fantasy and not real. So pretty unrealistic now. So how would a ten out of ten look like then? So a ten out of ten looks like it probably doesn't exist because there is no face. But what are the characteristics of the ideal Mr. Right in China? So the first characteristic is 神话级别的存在 similar to those that exist in legends or myths. The second one 可能是跨多个领域的天才 might be a genius in multiple areas. 智商 good IQ, 努力 hardworking. 个人成就 personal achievement, 社会地位 
good position in society. 身材 good body. 颜值 good look. Okay, that's it for today. Where we looked at what male beauty standards look like in China, and this is just a humorous perception of the stereotype. So I think that the ten out of ten ranking is actually quite accurate. Maybe not just in China, but all around the whole world, because everyone wants to be good-looking, intelligent, and also have a really good reputation, right? So. What did you think of the standards, and did you have a go at ranking yourself? Let us know in the comments below. And also, as always, please do press the like button to support our team, and also subscribe for free weekly Chinese lessons. See you next time.